All right, so I just got out of the shower and I wanted to go through my morning afternoon routine. I'm going to start off with the new Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer that I received the other day in the mail finally. And so this one's very light. I'll dab some on my hand here. You can barely see it. I'll rub it around. And it doesn't leave any kind of oily finish and dries fairly quickly. So this one doesn't have a dropper. I'm gonna rub it in the palms of my hands. And what I typically do is let each layer dry for a minute or two. I speed up the process by going like this. Why do I feel out of breath? <laughs> so once I've got my toner layer on, I move over to, today I'm just going to use my Bacuchiol. So Bacuchiol is a retinol and retinoid alternative but this one is also very light. It's a little thicker than other serums, but it's got a very nice kind of natural scent to it and it dries fairly quickly. It doesn't really leave any kind of residue. I usually put a dab on my forehead, dab on my cheeks, and dab on my chin. This one runs fairly quickly. A lot of my other serums don't seem to run like this, but maybe it's just because I haven't tried very many different ones. I'll try to look like an NPC here so you can see what it looks like. It's got a kind of a glossy or glassy finish. And again. Typically you'd want to have the Bacuchiol on your face. Maybe 10 or so minutes is what I've been reading. Uh, before you apply any other layer on, but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna speed it up. And it's also safe to mix other ingredients with Bacuchiol, whereas with retinols, you do have to uh, be mindful of what you're mixing them with. Next, I'm going to use my Shishido, or Shishido, Shishido eye cream. I've, I've actually been using this for about a year now. around my crow's feet area. I'm not very good at applying this, but I'll do my best. And then what I like to do, actually I forgot to show you a close up, let me put some on here. A lot of you have probably seen this before. So then I take very lightly since this is very delicate skin. I love the scent of this eye cream. It just smells very luxe. Calming to the senses as well. It's not like an herbal scent either. It just smells really good in my opinion. And this cream, typically I notice that it leaves more of a glossy or glassy finish. So you can kind of see that in the camera here. Throughout the day it'll fade, but at first I didn't like it, but I've kind of grown to like it even more as time has gone on and I don't really notice it. But lastly, a staple in everyone's skincare routine should be sunscreen. I recently got this Prem, which has, it's a UV or SPF 50 and PA plus, 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 plus. So what this does is protects you from both UVA and UVB rays. Now UVA rays, what cause aging to your skin and 
UVB rays are what burn your skin. So it's very important to look for a sunscreen that has both SPF and the PA++, there's different variations, plus, 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 plus. So I was, uh, previously I was using the Cost RX sunscreen, which also had both protections. I was also researching the NS Free, NS Free uh, sunscreen, but I decided to go with Prem because it seemed to have some really good reviews. And I really like the bottle that this one comes with. Very thin, very light. It's not too thick. Seems like a decent amount for my wrist, but when I was trying it out the other day, it doesn't really leave any kind of greasiness or white layer of product on your skin. And so even though I'm not going out today, throw some of this on my face. I'm really enjoying trying all of these new products I got. I've noticed a difference. I showed in my other video the COSRX vitamin C and that has a lot more ingredients or active ingredients in it and the other day I actually broke out a little bit in my forehead so if any of you are looking to add a vitamin C or ascorbic acid product into your skincare routine, you may see a breakout when you first start using it. That's just because of those more active ingredients, but it should be fine after the first week or so. And so now I'm protected from the light from my monitor screen, even though it doesn't give off UV or UVB rays. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll do more of these types of videos when I'm trying new products. Uh, I also have a different kind of night routine I've gotten into and I still need to show you those. Uh, the dermal, is it dermal? Yeah, dermal collagen essence face mask because I really want to get that collagen into my crow's feet area, my forehead, just anywhere where there's thin wrinkles that I want to address and help provide nutrients to cell turnover and all that good stuff. So until next time.